up here on Foss Mountain in Eden. Uh, nice place here. 1,650 feet up. Down there is Lake Ossipee. I'm gonna take you down there. That's 410 feet above sea level. That's considered the bottom of our watershed. You know, everybody's concerned about water. We have here some of the cleanest water in the 48 states. We're on the watershed edge right here. This valley is the Great Ossipee Valley. This is the Trask Mountain Highway. This is a unique road because um, Benjamin Skagel, who was the supervisor of the town roads in the Ossipee area, Ossipee didn't exist, but he was the guy who was chosen to put these roads in. We had to get these roads in to service the Conway to Wolfboro route. If you could imagine driving your ox cart down here, you better have brakes because this is the steepest hill on the route. The watershed is essentially a, a, a basin and it's surrounded by the hills around this basin. And those hills determine where the rainwater falls. This is a Gulf Brook project. This is something being taken on by the Dan Hole Pond Watershed Trust. They already have 300 acres or so in conservation that they monitor. And this Gulf Brook project is an additional 100 acres just to the east of that. This brook is a wonderfully clean water. It's beautiful. Thanks to the kind folks at the unique Silver Lake Railroad in Madison, just north of the Silver Lake on Route 113, we're able to take you into an area on the northern limits of the Ospie Valley watershed. Well, here we are at the Ospie Esker. This is a five to 10 mile long ridge of uh, sandy, gravelly soil. I've been hiking for about 40 years through the hills and looking for these wonderful things of a geologic nature. This is paramount. Look at this cut. This is a cross section of this wonderful 10 mile esker. And there are a number of sources of drinking water from the Ospe Aquifer. You can dip it from a hand dug shallow well you can pump it from a deep drilled well, or perhaps tap it from a deeper artesian, naturally flowing well. Today we have a dowser with us, and he says that we can find water. He knows where it is and how deep it is. So I'm skeptical, but he is not. So let's see what he has to say. Wayne, Wayne Peabody from Denmark, Maine. How Good are morning. You? Good morning, John. How are you doing? Good. I wanted to show you the way to get a well driven. Uh, this particular well is right here in the Ospie watershed. It goes down 180 feet. The tornado of uh, July of 08 um, really opened up the view here. I couldn't leave this out of the film. In the back we have White Face Mountain in Ossipee, and this is called Snake Pond. You know, I'm right here on the um, on Route 25, um, just east of uh, Center Ospey, one mile that way, uh, Ospey Lake is this way. This is the debris that was pushed from Ospey Lake. This is the Heath Pond Bog. Here we are at the beach on the edge of uh, Ospey Lake, south end, uh, three miles long, two miles wide. This is the base of the aquifer and the great Ossipee watershed. The Pine River and the long sand shoreline of Lake Ossipee provide some of the more unique recreational places in the watershed. Come with me and my neighbor Patrick and we'll take you on a tour. Uh, this is um, the exit point of Ossipee Lake basically the bottom of our watershed. There's a lot of water here. What goes out here goes right down the Ospie River into the Saco River, out to Saco Biddeford, Maine. We have some of the clearest water in all of New England, and the volunteers that do this biological checking are doing a good job. 